today ends our three part series of uncovering claims of ongoing bullying at Lafayette Sunnyside Intermediate School. We're hearing from a family who says their daughter died by suicide as a result of the bullying she faced. News 18's Mike Upshaw is sharing their story in this special report. Now we do have a warning for viewers. Topics of suicide are mentioned in this story. If I had known that my daughter in that school, she would be bullied, I would have never let her go. This is Oscar Chaparro and Carolina de Jesus at the memorial service of their 11-year-old daughter, Ashley. Now, a year later, they're remembering the good times with her. She was a very happy girl. She did not fight. Very cordial. She would help her friends in school. She was loved, except by those kids. Those kids who bullied her. Ashley was nearing the end of her fifth grade year at Lafayette Sunnyside when she took her life. Her parents say she told them she was being bullied, but they didn't know how severe it was until after her death. Friends and peers laid out everything she endured to the family's lawyers. The kids would bully her because of her shoes, because of her phone, anything really. She would get kicked, she would get punched, she would get pushed, and they would tell her that they hoped that she would fall and she would die. The family visited the school several times, seeking answers after her death. I went about two or three times to ask why. What was the reason? She was not a troublemaker. There was no violence at home. We don't use drugs. We don't drink. They told me they didn't know anything. But according to her peers, that's not entirely true. In an interview, Ashley's friend claimed they both went to administrators together to tell them they were being bullied, but no further action took place. The Chaparros even recall a time when Ashley came home saying, if a bully messed with her or a friend again, she would fight back. We would tell her, don't do anything like that because it's police there. And she would say no, because the teacher doesn't do anything. The principal doesn't do anything. The police don't do anything. The parents say they're disappointed with Sunnyside administrators for not informing them of their daughter's condition the day before her death. She wasn't doing well that day. She had her head on the table and her friend asked her what was going on. Ashley was crying. Ashley was not feeling well and the friend told the teachers that she needed to talk to a counselor and they didn't let her go. She told them many times that she needed to go and they closed the door. They say eventually teachers told Ashley's friend they would call her parents that day to tell them what was happening with her. They never did because we would have done something if we were told that Ashley was not doing well. This is what frustrates them most, lack of action and communication from school leaders. The children are one thing, but the teachers should know what they're doing. If the teacher allows it, the children's not going to stop. And I think that the principal has something to do with that. The family is now pursuing legal action against the school corporation in hopes of finding a solution to the ongoing bullying claims. There is a lot of bullying at Sunnyside, and I know that there are a lot of children. It's a big school. They commend Ashley for her strength in all this. Every day she'd tell them she'd had a good day never really expressing what she was truly battling. We were not aware because she would get home and she would be happy. She was really strong. They're encouraging other Sunnyside parents to speak to their kids about bullying in hopes of preventing this incident from happening to anyone else. Be more aware of your children because you still have your children. I could not help mine. Reporting in Lafayette, Micah Upshaw, News 18.